Should this seem like a, a higher stakes game than the Bill Bill playing Kansas City? Who says Bill's not in great moods? That was he was actually in a really good mood at this press conference. How did the Chiefs beat the Patriots? How does Patrick Mahomes come out and best Tom Brady on Sunday? Well, we can talk about Patty Mahomes, we can talk about the offensive weapons, but if the defense does not play better than what they've done uh, without their best defensive player in Justin Houston, if they don't, because right now, you're talking about defenses, 29th against the run, 26th in coverage, 30th in tackling. I, I don't know of a team that's been 30th in tackling and going to be able to beat the New England Patriots. What are the Pats in tackling, by the way? Um, oh, the, they're first. Oh, yes. They're first. So you have you have one of the, and that's pro football focuses ranking. Mm -hmm. Like you have one of, if not the worst tackling team in football against a team that for whatever talent limitations they have on defense, they're not missing a lot of right. tackles. So to me, it amounts to how long can that offense with Patty Mahomes, are they going to be on the field? New England knows these numbers. What we've seen the last two weeks from New England leads them into this big-time matchup on, on, on Sunday. They're going to run the football. New England will run the football 30 times in this game, at least, because it's one of your weaknesses. It's one way that I can combat. Um, it's not Tom Brady against Patty Mahomes. It's Tom Brady's offense going against this defense. Patty Mahomes' offense going against the Patriots' defense. So I believe ball control, eat up the time of possession, make this young quarterback antsy as far as time on the field, and, and then try to create some turnovers for their defense. That's what I believe New England will do. They will get some yards, Kansas City, between the 20s and New England secondary trying to create some turnovers. Those are the differences, I believe, going into the game what New England will be trying to accomplish. Listen, I think that the Pats are going to move the ball. I, you mentioned running the ball 30 times. I thought this could be a game where James White has 10 catches, where they are throwing it out of the backfield, where they're taking advantage of mismatches, where they are making the Chiefs tackle in space. Because, the, I mean, you, you, you said it. They are one of the worst tackling teams in football. Where I think the Chiefs can have some success is at least up to this point this year, some areas the Patriots are typically great at defensively, They've been average or well below average. Third down defense, one area the Pats historically are great at. Getting off the field, they're 26th. Red zone defense, they're exactly middle of the pack, 14th. They're not getting to the opposing quarterback. They're dead last in sack percentage. So you would think Pat Mahomes is going to have time. So this is going to be, to me, I don't think the Pats defense can stop the Chiefs offense. I think they might be able to slow them a bit. But... Can they get one more stop than the Chiefs offense can get? The Chiefs famously played a playoff game 15 years ago where they didn't force a punt the whole time. It was a great offense in the Chiefs with Trent Green against Peyton Manning and an even better offense in, Indi in Indianapolis. I'm not saying it's a game where the Chiefs can't force a punt, but the Pats could have long drives. Drives where they're getting six yards each and every play, and they're keeping the Chiefs offense off the field, that's the path, the path, path to victory. Listen, no matter how much Andy Reid prepares this team, this game seems bigger and will feel bigger for the Chiefs than it will for the Patriots. Because Bill Belichick will make sure that what he said in that press conference, I'm sure, is the message that he delivers all week, another game. While some of these Kansas City players will want to match themselves up with supposedly who usually the best of the best is. How much will it mean for this Chiefs team if they do come out and beat the Patriots? Uh, uh, Jim, that, that is a good question. Uh, Belichick will try to act as if every game is the same. Uh, well, you, is this a big-time game? It's Kansas City. Are, are you guys going to be ready? Well, we'll be ready to play Kansas City. That's the outward. But they know what's going on. They know what Tom Brady. They realize they lost the Super Bowl. So let's just imagine we get on this show on Monday, and New England is, uh, after six games, three and three. And Patty Mahomes is thrown for 400 yards, and they get to 6-0. and Like, New England knows what, what's at stake here. They will downplay it. Oh, it's just another game. No, just like that Miami. That Miami game wasn't another game. And they went out there and sent a message. New England knows better than other teams what the situation is, what's at stake, even though they can stay focused on the moment. If New England wants to have home field advantage, this game is very, very important. They, I would go as far as say if they lose this game, they're almost drawing dead to be seated higher than the Chiefs. 
if the Chiefs are three games up in the standings and have the head-to-head tiebreaker yeah. like that, if if those two teams, you're four games clear with ten to play. Like that is so. It is as far as the standings go, team perspective-wise, an enormously important game for New England. The Chiefs could lose this game. Yeah, they lose the tiebreaker, but there's still a game clear in the standings. Right. And so, but on the Mahomes Brady side of it, if we are on here Monday and the Chiefs have won, and Pat Mahomes has had a great game. I think we might be talking about this game the way a lot of people have been waiting for a game to talk about for the last five years in the AFC, which is a passing of the torch of the AFC quarterbacks. Because you, Andrew Luck had a couple opportunities, had an AFC championship game opportunity, a famous deflate gate game, where if he would have, that was before we knew Brady was going to go on this four-year run from that moment mm-hmm. forward, where if the, he went in there and beat Tom Brady with the pedigree Luck had pre-injury, would have been saying, man, that was Brady handing off the best quarterback in the conference torch to Andrew Luck. He couldn't get it done. Deshaun Watson has played him twice. Played well in one, played poorly in another. His team's not ready. The other quarterbacks in the the conference that we think are potentially near Brady, Big Ben, Phillip Rivers, they're in year 15. This is an opportunity, if the Chiefs win and Pat Holmes plays well, for him in this conference, it'd be different in the NFC, but to take Mm -hmm. the mantle of who's the best quarterback moving forward, who's the best quarterback right now in this whole conference. Patrick Mahomes can stake the claim to that on Sunday night with a win. What about Patrick Mahomes at Foxborough? What's that like for a young quarterback? What's the environment like for a young Ooh, quarterback? No, that's a, that, that's a real question because trying to go against the Pats, what their defense is doing, their fronts, their coverage, Belichick trying to design things, and that home field advantage. They're used to winning. They got smart football fans, just like Kansas City does at home. So I think... His games that he plays in Kansas City and playing in Denver, it's great experience of going to Foxborough. And what he faced a couple weeks ago in Denver, I believe there will be carryover because there is no tougher place to play than Mile High. All right? In Foxborough, it's the same type of environment. People are used to winning. But I believe that little experience that he did get a couple weeks ago will help out. Well, and remember when we were talking about the Dolphins game and the only player on the Dolphins roster that had won in New England was Frank Gore when he was playing for a different team. Right. Almost everybody that Pat Mahomes plays with has won in New England because they beat him there last year. He was on the sideline to watch Alex Smith and company win in that stadium last year. Now, I know Belichick against young quarterbacks at home is basically undefeated. Belichick against inexperienced quarterbacks at home has won, I think, 20 straight. Like, the numbers are jarring, but... This Chiefs team is one of the few teams that can say, oh, we gone in that building and won. The, 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 Tyree Kill knows what it's like to win there. The Kareem Hunt, Travis Kelsey, those guys know what it's like to win in that building, if that matters. And that was also, by the way, nationally televised, night game, all the eyes of football world on you. All right, let's take a break. Coming up, some bold claims from Dak Prescott ahead of the Cowboys matchup with the Jaguars. That's next on First Things First.